Hi hey everybody, how's it going? So, in today's video I'm going to show you how to safely replace your old standard wall outlet with a new USB combo outlet. I also show you a short review of these two outlets, which are very popular on Amazon. So, let's get started. For this project you'll need only a flathead screwdriver, but if you have a pair of pliers and a voltage tester, that would be a big plus. So, first of all you have to go to your breaker box and turn off the power to all outlets in your room or simply flip the main breaker. Next, plug any device into the same outlet to make sure the power is off. You can also use a voltage tester. If for some reason you can't turn off the power to the outlet or the entire house or apartment, it's still possible to replace the outlet. I'll show you how to do it, but I don't really recommend it, especially if you're not comfortable with wires, tools and can't follow my instructions. So, first we need to unscrew and remove the outlet cover. Next, you need to unscrew the outlet itself and carefully remove it from the outlet box. Ok, before we go any further, I want to give you some information on safety measures and how to properly wire an outlet. As you can see, inside of the electrical box we have three wires. The black wire is hot, the white wire is neutral, and the green or bare copper wire is always ground. The neutral wire goes to the white slots, the hot wire goes to these slots, and this is ground. That's the theory. In reality, the hot and neutral wires are often reversed. You can easily check your outlet's wiring with a voltage probe or regular multimeter. I have a video which explains how to identify hot, neutral and ground wires using digital multimeter. Ok, so if you didn't manage to turn off the power, it's absolutely safe to touch the neutral and ground wires. But you must be extremely careful with the hot wire. You can safely touch it with your bare hands only if you wear rubber soled shoes or stand on a rubber mat, and you don't touch the neutral and ground wires, or any grounded device. So, if you touch your wall, floor, water pipe, fridge or one of these wires while holding the hot wire, you can check out earlier than you planned. Alright, now let's remove the wires from the old outlet. If they are touched by the screws, like in my case, simply loosen the screws. If they are inserted in holes in the back, push the screwdriver into the slots to make the wires release, or just cut them off. Ok, now let's take a look at these outlets. The Leviton outlet costs about 19 bucks and it comes without a wall plate, so you can save a few dollars and use your old one. These two USB charging ports provide a total output of 3.6 amps. As you can see, my power bank is drawing 2.1 amps from this port. Let's try to load another one. One amp, no problems. Two amps, and there's a slight voltage drop. And the current at this port. Anyway, you'll get your solid 3.6 amps. The top greener costs 18 bucks and it comes with two different wall plates, which is pretty cool. And this two port USB charger offers 4 amps of charging power. The power bank is drawing 2 amps from this port, let's check another one. One amp. 2 amps 
and 3 amps. So, we are drawing 5 amps from these ports, and the voltage is stable. This is way above the claimed specs. The top greener is the real winner. Inside, both outlets look very similar, and the overall build quality is pretty much the same. But the top greener's PCB looks more complex than the Leviton's one. Anyway, whatever you choose, you can't go wrong. So, I'm going to go ahead and install new outlet. Like I said before, the black wire is hot, the white wire is neutral, and the green or bare copper wire is ground. If your wires have nice loops without any cracks, then simply loop them around the screws in a clockwise rotation and tighten firmly. You can also insert your wires into the back of your outlet. I don't recommend using this connection for a regular outlet like this, but for these outlets the back wiring method provides the most reliable connection. So, next we need to strip the wires. You can use this back wire strip gauge to properly strip the wires. Now simply insert the wires under these brass terminals and tighten the screw. Finally loop the ground wire clockwise around the green screw and tighten firmly. Tuck your wires back in, then push the outlet back into the box and screw it in place. Finally, screw on the faceplate. Ok, so as you can see the whole process is very simple and now you can charge 4 devices instead of 2. I'll put the links for the outlets in the description below. Thank you for watching.